You know, I would wear these so much more often if they weren't such a pain in the ass to get on. Like, these take like five minutes, like five full minutes to get on my body. And they look super cute, but goddamn, so much effort. Hey everyone, it's Campbell Cat. I'm here to yell at you because I need to vent, like, really badly. Because, well, I'm not a perfect little princess, as you might think I am. I get mad, just like every other human who has some sort of self-righteous thoughts in their mind. And, to be quite fair, I don't want to tell anyone how to live their life. This is not what this video or any of my videos are about. I'm not telling you how to live your life. I just need a place to vent and share my thoughts and opinions, and I hate filming in parks because people run, and there's gonna be people running, and ah, uh, god damn it. I'm just gonna start this over. I'm just gonna start over because I don't- I didn't collect my thoughts properly. Hey everyone, it's Cannibal Cat. I'm here to complain at you because my life is a sham. Um, so, since I've been on social media, it's just become so much more prevalent lately. I go on Instagram and I see like 30 million shops that sell essentially the same shit. Uh, just same boring shit of like rings with the generic horror icons on it and necklaces and chokers with the buckles. As much as I love a lot of that shit, it's not creative anymore. It's not new. It's nothing groundbreaking. And that's... It hurts me. And I see all these girls who, who wear the brands and they they have the quote-unquote look and they think that they're so edgy and revolutionary. And I don't think they understand anything about anything that they're trying to represent. With all these like harnesses and leather and just recycled bullshit that's trendy nowadays. and. It bothers me personally. It personally bothers me because there's these 20-somethings who want to be edgy and on the trends and the trend is to be alternative. Where there's people like me who've grown up being fucking weird and being into that stuff and it's been a fucking source of ridicule for my entire life and now it's somehow cool and it's what everyone wants to be and it's like that's not what it's about, and it's never gonna be like that. Like, am I making any sense? I'm trying so hard to, like, vent cohesively. Butter the otter, save me from this hell. Um, cause fucking, I grew up idolizing my brother, who was kind of edgy, and he had a bunch of piercings, and he listened to the cool music, and he was into cool stuff. And... I, I wanted to be like that. I thought that that was the coolest shit. And I did more research and it's just, it just, it fits me. But I feel like a lot of these people are just wearing a costume. They don't know the core of the subculture. They don't have the soul of it, you know? It's not a fucking costume. It's not something you could put on and be like, you know, I'm really feeling dark today. I'm feeling goth. It's like, <sighs> it's not a mood. It's, it's not... It's just, it's not a costume. It's something that you are and you embrace and it reflects in basically every aspect of your soul. And I don't think a lot of people understand that concept. The concept of goth is not wearing black and liking horror movies. That's not what it is at all. Not even fucking close. It's being open-minded and seeing the world in a different light than most people. Because most people see the world as ultimately good, but there's a lot of bad. Where, I think, when you're goth, for the most part, you see the world as ultimately bad, but you look for the good in it. And people... I mean, that's just my mindset. I don't know. I don't speak for everyone. But so many people just have no soul. There's no heart. There's no depth to it. It's just wearing it because it's the trend. And that bothers me. A lot. It really does. Because it ridicules me. It ridicules a lot of the people that I know and I'm around and are like me. And 
it's just not authentic and half of the shit that you see is not authentic and I want you guys to kind of just know or I don't know I'm really I'm just venting I have to vent because it pisses me off like oh my god the sight the sight dolls kill okay they sell all this lime crime and designer clothes and edgy things and creepers and yeah it'll make you cute pastel goth and then they sell fucking battle jackets and battle vests with the studs and patches already sewn onto them for like hundreds of dollars and that's essentially that's the quintessential like I fucking hate everything that's going on right now because metal and goth and punk it's you have to do it yourself I mean you don't have to everything but stuff like that stuff like battle vests and patches you fucking sew it on yourself. That's that's where it goes. That's the heart and soul. Or else you're just buying something and putting it on. It's not authentic. And I just... I'm so sick of the commercialism of the alternative subculture. Because that's all it is now. And it makes me feel stupid. Because I'm who I am. And everyone else is just kind of throwing it on because it's trendy. And it really bothers me. <laughs> it bothers me so much. And I can't do anything to fix it or solve it or anything I just have to complain and get it out of my system to you guys because that's the only way that's, I I don't have any friends who are like me I can't really complain to anyone and no one will understand so I tell it to you guys in hopes that you'll feel me on some sort of level and I got it I did it my I did my septum because I've given up looking for a job there's no jobs in my area. I'm just gonna go to school at some point because holy hell, there's no jobs. I've been looking for a year. Uh, congrats to all the grads. Congrats to all the grads. Congratulations to all you guys graduating. Um, I'm proud. It was really hard for me to graduate high school, so honestly, don't think that it's a it's a small thing. It's it can be really difficult. So I'm proud of you. Uh, celebrate. Uh, you have your whole lives ahead of you to fuck up and make stupid mis- I can't talk today. I'm very riled up for whatever reason. Um, I just want you guys to not foolishly follow anything that you think is- I don't know. Don't- don't foolishly follow things. Keep, uh, always question the roots and intentions and- uh, authenticity of people and things because everything, especially in America, everything is just designed to fucking get your money and your attention and not actually pay attention to the real things or the real meaning or the real anything. It's all just a facade. So, um, yeah, again, not telling you guys how to live your life, not telling anyone who wears fucking the generic shit from Tumblr or Instagram is a bad person. I just, it bothers me, personally. I don't like a lot of the things that I'm seeing. And I, I don't, I wish that I felt differently. I wish that I was super open-minded and just thought that every alternative person was perfect and wonderful, but I can't really say that. I just, I think a lot of them are fakes. Uh, because I think that happens it's just, it's people who are unoriginal. They see something that is new and different and they don't have anything that's different to themselves so they want to steal it from the people who have it. And I think that's kind of what's happening. So, just be yourself. I'm gonna be the little Aladdin bee buzzing your ear. Um, that's a good movie. You guys should watch Aladdin. Never underestimate Disney because I hated it for a long time and now I'm like starting to think it's really cool. And I'm like, wow. Uh, yeah, I hate, I hate people. I hate when they run behind me. I hate parks, but it's the only place that I can get sanctuary. So, uh, here I am, talking to you. Um, I'm gonna go to Disneyland on Monday. I'm super pumped about that. Speaking of Disney, it all ties together. I actually, my train went off the tracks and then it went back on the tracks. Um, Disney is really good. It's really good. You should watch more of it. I used to hate it, and now I'm kind of like, this one's pretty cool. Because I wasn't raised with it. My parents were like, watch Disney films. I was watching not Disney films. I was raised on, like, fucking Law and & Order and Forensic Files. 
so um it's a little different but um yeah uh watch aladdin my my tip for you guys today is to watch aladdin and also uh open open your mind and your eyes and dig deeper into things because not everything is as commercials you might be led to believe um i love you guys uh live your life the way you fucking want i'm not anyone to tell you how to live i'm a fucking 19 year old girl from california i have no idea what anything is i'm just here because i have no life so uh look up some otter videos have you guys seen otter videos lately they are literally the light of my life i love them so much um Anyway, I'm gonna just ramble if I don't stop this now. So, I love you guys. Uh, hit my stupid button down by my stupid face if you would like to see more of my stupid face and more of this adorable otter. Um, if you so desire, you can add me on Facebook, Twitter, Tumblr, Instagram, and Snapchat, all at CannibalCatX, one word. Uh, I post a lot everywhere. Not so much on Instagram, I post maybe like once a day, every day or so, if that, because it's just pictures. I'm on Tumblr and Snapchat like all the time though. Um, so I love you guys. Stay adorable and fluffy. I hope you have a nice day slash night wherever you are. Uh, yeah. I love you guys. Bye.